Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day. Today it isn't our scheduled mid-month vlog but I have bought a few things. I've got a John Lewis order of clothes to uh, to share with you. It is, oh there it is. But first we're gonna have some coffee. This was the exciting thing that came in the post today. It's a Harrods brochure thing, so we'll have a look at that in a bit. And also, had a delivery, which is a day early. And this is some tea and coffee. Let's get it on. This is going to take a few minutes to brew, but here's my fresh batch of 1576. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I love that sound. Okay, we're going to leave that to brew for four minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to unload the dishwasher. Excuse me? Hello? What's up, baby? Are you going to meow? You're not meowing because I'm actually tickling you. What happens if I stand up and go over here? This isn't going to be too exciting. Excuse me, Daisy. Excuse me. So I won't share this bit with you, but oh, yes, it's a dishwasher and it's got clean stuff in it. So I'm going to put this away and then my coffee will be ready. Okay, Daisy will not leave me alone. She keeps shouting at me to uh, complete doing the dishwasher. Yes. So I think she might be wanting her licky licks. Yeah? Do you want the licky licks? Oh, baby. Come on then. Let's get you a licky licks. Here's her Licky Licks plate, yes? You recognise that? Yep. And what happens when I show you the Licky Licks? Oh, yes, baby. Oh, is this what you would like? Is that what you would like? Oh, oh yes, baby, baby. Should we put this on a plate for you? She really, really loves these. So this is by a company called, yes baby, it's by a company called Webox. Uh, this is the chicken flavoured Licky Licks and I will link these down below because I've had a couple of people asking me, um, what is in that tube that you give your cat that she seems to go crazy for? And you do go crazy for it, don't you? You ready? Pardon? Can you do one big long meow? Miss Carpenter and her daughter, you do a big one meow? One big long meow? No, she's just, she's too excited. There you go, baby. Num num nums. Well, that lasted approximately eight seconds. But now I've got the dishwasher empty. I'm gonna wash out this large marmalade jar. This is a Costco purchase, which is why it's so huge. And it's kept hubby in marmalade for about a year. I really, really like these jars to use for other things. And I have these little stickers. These are like little blackboard stickers and a chalk pen. So I do things like this. This is the coffee. So when I change my coffee and I put a different one in here, I wipe off the name and I put the name of the coffee on it so I always know what I'm drinking. And for things like these pine nuts, I'll just put the best before date on there. I don't need to label it because I know what it is because I can see through the jar, but they're really, really handy. Love these things. Um, I bought these years ago, but if I can find the labels and the chalk pens, then I will link them down below. There you go, all done. You might ask why put them in the jar and not just leave it in the packet with a little clip on it and it's because they just stay fresher. I forgot to show you that I keep the Licky Licks for easy access in this cup which uh, my sister gave me for my birthday in 2019 and this is our beautiful little Izzy cat. Um, so we have this that we can look at. I'm not allowed to put it in a cupboard or anything. She sits on the worktop there by the pasta so we can see her 
little furry face and her gorgeous green eyes every day. Sorry for the noise, I've got the milk frothing at the moment. Mmm, frothy milk. Time for a sprinkle. Oh, let's have a little bit more, why not? <gasps> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> you got this. Yes, coffee. I've started the cleaning process of this jar by popping in a couple of squirts of here, it's really hot. Popping a couple of squirts of washing up liquid in there and then filling it about two thirds full of hot, hot water. I'm going to give it and then I'm just going to let that sit for a bit and I'll come back periodically and give it a shake. Let's see what is in my Wittard's order. I ran out of my 1886 tea. So, oh, look at this packaging, isn't it lovely? So that's going to be my, yep, my receipt. Always. Oh, lordy biscuits. Oh yes! One of the reasons I ordered so much from Wittards this time was uh, you get free delivery on £20 worth of stuff. So I've got one packet of tea. I've got... Oh, looks like I bought three packets of tea. Okay, well, that's going to keep me going for a while. Um, and I bought uh, three packets of the medium roast breakfast blend. Nothing too hectic. Yes, three of those. Lorks, lorks and lorks. Um, but if you spent £30, you got two packets of biscuits for free so I thought why not it's not like I'm not going to drink the tea and I'm not going to drink the coffee let's try these biscuits my mum would like these because she's a big fan of Earl Grey I find Earl Grey a little bit florally for tea but I think it might work well in an all butter bicky and then your classic all butter shortbread oh yes I like these tubes as well I'm thinking with these tubes, I might put some Christmas paper around them and use them as Christmas packaging afterwards. So that's why I bought so much tea and coffee in one go. Really like this box, look at that. We're tired of Chelsea. Isn't that lovely? And I've got this canister for my 1886. So I'm going to put one of these directly in here. I think it will only take one packet at a time. I'm going to try and do this while filming. <laughs> Trying to look at two different things at the same time. Okay, I could potentially get another one in there, but thinking about it, I'd rather keep them in the sealed packet until I'm ready to use it. So, on goes that, on goes that. Actually, I thought I'd drink my coffee downstairs because it's almost lunchtime now. I've got to... Eat, squeeze me? What you've had? You've had baby, what do you... Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm going to have to check my lens for smears now. Um, so I thought, yeah, I've got to make lunch in a minute for hubby. Um, I've been doing a few bits and pieces this morning, which is why it's lunchtime already. And I've got wet hair. Um, so I thought I'll open up this Harrods magazine. Look at that. Look at the shimmery, shimmery. Beautiful. Really, really nice. So let's have a little quick flick. Mmm. Lovely. Oh, so many things. So many beautiful things. Whoops. Did you see anything you liked? Oh, look at the back. Cartier. <gasps> Cartier de Panthère. I really, really love that collection. I really love it. It's so in your face, over the top. When I win the lottery, you will be mine. I've got the usual messy situation in my bag room. It needs sorting out. It has been raining and it is horribly chilly and wet out there. Inside it's nice and cosy and warm. Thank you central heating. And I am trying to force the nice springy weather to come into effect by wearing my one of my dancing leopard genie jumpsuits. That's what it looks like 
out the back. Because this is a family show, I am wearing one of my next vest top things underneath it. I will link um, the genie jumpsuit down below. It is a one size fits all. And you can see with my apple shape, it does work. Although if you are of a buxom nature, you might want to wear a little bikini top or something underneath it. This is the bag that arrived yesterday and it's spent yesterday afternoon on the bed and I didn't get a chance to um, try anything on uh, or open it even so we popped it on the floor overnight and it looks like the kittens have been climbing on it there are little indents and things all over the bag so hopefully nothing inside has been damaged by their naughty little claws. This is kind of a two-parter. This is some clothing and this is the other stuff that I had ordered that arrived um, about a week and a bit ago. So you remember, you may remember I was talking about the Give a Little Love um, charity collaboration that John Lewis were doing over Christmas. I thought I'd get myself a little pin to put on my denim jacket because I like a little pin on my denim jacket. I've got this Give a Little Love scented candle, bergamot and musk. And it is musky and a little bit bergamotty, so I just thought it was really, really cute. And it was, I think it was like seven pounds, so for a scented candle, it wasn't that much at all. Edit Gwenny here. I also bought the mug, but I've used it a few times and completely forgot to include it in this video. Does this make me a grown up buying these kind of moth odour things to put in my wardrobe and my drawers and stuff? I don't know. And the other thing that I bought in the last John Lewis order is this kind of bralette thing, non-underwired. And um, so when it arrived, it had these ridiculous things in it. And uh, frankly, I don't need the help. So I took those out and instantly um, it looked and felt a lot better. These were basically, <laughs> these just looked like ridiculous little caps because you could see the outline of them through the fabric. So I've worn this a couple of times and just washed it for the first time. What I do like about this one is um, other un non underwired bras I've tried, I've ended up with like one mono boob going straight across and this does seem to um, prevent that from happening so that's good so those are the things that I bought the first time round from John Lewis I will link everything down below these had been out of stock for a long time um, so when it came back into stock I was like yeah I'm gonna buy it and I think I'm probably gonna buy it in in the other colors okay moment of truth let's get in oh to this big package Okay, what I've got here is some new season pieces that I think might fill a couple of gaps in my wardrobe and a couple of past season pieces or three past season pieces that uh, were in the super sale, two of which I have my eye on already, uh, saved them to my wish list and then this dress on the top, I saw it and I thought, oh, I might give that a go. I can tell you that all of these three items are from Somerset by Alice Tempely, which is my one of my favourite brands that John Lewis stocks. This is everything out. So this was £26 in the sale, £29 in the sale, £29 in the sale, not in the sale, new piece, £29, not in the sale, new piece, £29, not in the sale, new pieces, £7 each. So this is the Somerset dress quite like the elasticated bit here at the back which kind of brings it in and it shows that even though I am an apple I have got that little dip love the pockets on it don't like the kind of gappiness here and I'm not even wearing like a a, a proper boost them get them up and round bra the sleeves are way too long apparently if you are a size 18 you must be six foot tall which isn't the case so um it's a bit too big on the shoulders it's a bit gappy here it almost looks from a distance like it's just kind of a pinstripe and i have to agree with what hubby said i kind of feel like i look a little bit 
like a um, a housemaid. So this is a no. Right, I've now got on the basic tee in white and the sort of beigey colour linen trousers, which are still quite long on me. Still quite long. I like the rise. The rise is a good rise, but again, because I'm apple shape, is this puffing out a little too much? Maybe. So it's got pockets that I love. It's um, they are actually really quite comfortable. The t-shirt is actually quite sheer. I don't know if you're able to see it on camera, but you can actually see my tattoo. Hello. You can see that through it, which doesn't really bother me. What do you guys think? I'm a little unsure about the trousers just because it's kind of all kind of big round here. I, I feel strange. I don't feel like this is me at the moment wearing kind of beige trousers and a white t-shirt. It might be a little bit too loose on the shoulders but Otherwise, it's, you know, it's not too loose, it's not too fitted. It could be a good t-shirt. Let's try the, uh, let's try the next one on. Okay, this is the black tee, and weirdly, it seems to fit better on the shoulders, even though it's the same size, and it is a little bit more fitted around the middle. So, that's strange, that's a bit of an anomaly. I've got a lily now. You might catch her in frame, she's wandering around. And the trousers, well first off, the green is a bit brighter. Hello Lily, hello baby, you going to say hello? You going to say hello? You're going to panic and run, panic and run. So the trousers are a lot brighter green than I would normally go for. I'd go, normally go for more like that sort of darker sort of army moss kind of green. This is quite bright. But, when I first put them on, I thought when I put my feet in them, I thought, well these cuffs aren't doing anything, really, because, look, it's so loose, and I think, again, that's because if you're a size 18, you must be massive everywhere, um, but it is actually huge, 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 huge. I could comfortably go down a size in this, potentially two sizes and um, love the weight of the fabric though and I think if I went down a size or two sizes this would work with heels boots and trainers Lily baby you sniffing everything these are exciting new things that mummy's got to try I think this combination is a lot more Gwenny than maybe the beige and the white tea. Maybe the beige with the black tea, or this with the white tea, who knows? But I think I'm definitely gonna get these in a smaller size. I might get a 16 and a 14. Look, they're massive! <laughs> they're huge! <laughs> so I might, I might do that, yes. Watch this space. This tea, I don't think I have any qualms about. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a beige kind of bra underneath and I don't feel like you c it's sheer enough that you can see the colour come through or anything. So, um, yeah, I think these two are winners. Let me know what you think. So I kept the, the uh, green trousers on, the green joggers on, but I put my white t-shirt on and also my modern rarity asymmetric um, jacket. I was thinking this, I only put the white t-shirt on so you would get the contrast. I'll probably wear another black vest top or something, a low cut vest top underneath this jacket. But uh, so imagine this, potentially with a pair of heels on, if I'm ever gonna wear heels ever again, ankle boots, something like that. Okay, now we move on to the red and black cardi with no pockets. I've popped on just a little 
existing vest top thing underneath and I've this was not easy getting into these these are my black skinny coated kind of if you can see the shine on them coated jeans but I wanted something black on the bottom here to show off I kind of like that it's a bit oversized but still cropped short it's kind of a brownie red rather than a bright 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 red but uh, let me know what you think I think I quite like it even though this is my bulky area boobs and tummy is my bulky area so you'd have thought I wouldn't want to emphasize that but I like it and now for the poncho which is big and it's heavy and I kind of like it I've left my hair in the neck for that kind of 70s vibe and look look at that just look at that wingspan okay so I've still got my um, coated jeans jeans on imagine this with knee-high boots maybe blue jeans or something to break up the color knee-high black suede boots which I have a pair of blue skinny jeans and this fabulous but I'm also going to try it on with my white jeans which is the only other pair of bottoms if I keep those beige ones that isn't black or navy this is a heavy mitt this is heavy what do you think of this I've put my hair up in a pony for this bit because I was getting a little bit hot under the collar as they say so this is with my white jeans with little turn ups on them so you've got the contrast so this could still be a uh, kind of autumn winter fireworks night kind of vibe or when we're able to do so again travel would this be good for travel instead of a little shawl pop this on and off you go what did you just say hello beautiful lily you come to see me no is it too much come on oh you're gonna try and get behind me are you a little purr a little purr hello baby oh yes can you see your face no don't put that camera in my face mummy why would you do that why would you do that i'm a scaredy cat hey come back come back baby hello hello everyone loves you you and your sister yes they do they think you're the most beautiful cats and they're right you are the most beautiful cats aren't you yes you are No, yes I know, not allowed to touch the tummy. What's this? What's that? Is that your rabbit foot? Is that your rabbit foot, baby? Jeez, look at the size of your paws. You're gonna be, what date is it today? I think you might be 10 months and three days old today. So you've still got a little bit of growing to do, haven't you? even though you're already enormous hello she does want the love she's just not sure she wants the love isn't it baby look at the bloody size of her <laughs> Look at the size of you! No, we're not going on the bed because there's things up there. We're not going on the bed. Oh, <gasps> Daisy as well! Not going on the bed. Beautiful eyes. We've got a Daisy come to investigate as well. Oi, you're not going on the bed. That's 
what you think, Mummy. I'm definitely going on the bed. Don't go on the bed, baby. Stay here with me. Daisy, baby. Hello. Have I got DOS babies? Who's our little galaxy? Daisy baby. Yeah? Whoa. Hello. Are you going to come and sit with your sister? Oh, this is exciting. Two babies together. Oh, just too darn cute. Look at what she's doing. Look at what you're doing. I feel it's a trap. As soon as I put my hand, as soon as I put my hand down, there's going to be claws in it, isn't there? Oh, do you want to love my hand? Do you? I feel like it's a trap, baby. Is it a trap? My God, you're cute. Yes, can I put my hand on your tummy? No, it is a trap, isn't it? It's a trap, 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 trap. Look at that cute baby. Look at that cute baby. Look at that other cute baby. There she is. There you are. Oh, that was a big yawn wasn't it? And just look at those paws. The size of those paws. You are an absolute monster aren't you Lily? Yes you are. Okay I need to get these clothes away and hidden in my room before the kittens decide to use them as a pincushion and I clearly need to uh, give this one especially who's decided to come out and play. Where are you? There you are. <clears throat> some love you're just too darn cute look at how cute you are She's waiting.